and we are back and that's my phone. Um, in this upload we are going to be looking how to get the most out of your tube amplifier. Um, there's going to be two ways we're going to look at this. One way um, a lot of people use, yeah, an attenuator. Um, I've tried a lot of attenuators and they do work. Different attenuators work better with different amps uh, but personally for me uh, the THD hot plate is an attenuate that I really like. The way that drives an amp is fantastic. It sounds really organic. A lot of great players use it. Chris uh, King Robinson from Pedalporn, Jesse Davey. A lot of great players use the hot plate and rightly so. Um, I've, I, you can also record line out on it, which is really great. It's a fun little tool for practicing silently. Um, but it does have something that it does and does add some sort of character that sounds a little bit synthetic um, but as I said it's still the best one I've tried or there's the other option um, and this is a trick that I've seen a lot of pros do uh, more famously probably Marcus King and that's to open your amp up um, and then control your volume with like a tube screamer kind of circuit up front I'm gonna be doing that today with this uh, Rhino Ram ODR1 and which is basically a Nobles um, Holy Grail pedal. Nobles were kind enough to comment on a video I put up about this and confirm what I thought. So, you know, if you guys are looking for um, an ODR one priced, an original ODR one priced a little cheaper, search for these. these. This is fantastic. This lives on top of my amp and I use this a lot. So the way you can use it is you can open your amp right up and then dime the volume back and it kind of retains um, no clarity and doesn't kind of add that synthetic kind of sound that an attenuator will. Um, so yeah, th th this video is a little bit of talking, but I'm just trying to get across a point of two pretty cool ways. Uh, one instant way to get your amp to open up, and that's if you've got a drive pedal, try this second trick, because it, it does work really good. Um, the best way to use it and to retain your amp tone is to keep the drive down uh, and the volume down and just keep like the tone control up. Or if you want to create a bit of drive, then open your drive up and still keep that volume down. Uh, there is a science behind this that I've read. There's a great article somewhere, and I'm sure if you look, you'll probably find that. Um, whether it'll work with other drives, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's you know based to this tube circuit type circuit, um, tube screamer, sorry, type circuit. But it is a great way of getting a feel for a loud amp. So these are just two real cool hacks to try. Um, I'm going to give you some tone demos now and uh, I really believe this is a way that you can get a lot more out of your, you know, your tube amp. Um, thanks for being here. Let's just get into the tone. This is Richie. Bye. <laughs>
favorite and I've tried darling pretty close um, there is slight differences um, but if you pick out what I said at the start in terms of the hot plate does add something um, essentially if I had to have one pedal the hot plate is probably the pedal that I choose and when people ask me about hot plates and all that and messages it is the best pedal that you'll ever own for your amp um, everything sounds better with it drive your amp with a hot plate and your vibe is going to sound better drive your amp with a hot plate and 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 your fuzz is going to sound better you know um so they are really good they are a great bit of kit 
Um, whether they kick in the amps power section and do damage there, I don't really think so. I think they just get the amp working as it should. You know, I've had this for a long time and before this I had the super reverb and I used to run a hot plate on top and, you know, touch wood. I've never had any issues. But who knows, eh? This is Richard from Brad Junkies. Thanks so much for being here. See you soon. Peace.